Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has proposed an interim budget of rupees 1.18 lakh crore for the fiscal year 2024-25 for the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. The interim budget envisages a fiscal deficit of rupees 20,760 crore and a 7.5% growth in the gross state domestic product. Additionally, capital expenditure for the fiscal year has been proposed at rupees 38,566 crore, which is 14.64% of the GSDP. Meanwhile, revenue receipts for the next fiscal year stand at rupees 97,861 crore. Now, according to Finance Minister Sitaraman, the crucial reforms undertaken in 2019 have enabled path-breaking measures by the Union Territory's government to decentralize governance structure, promote inclusive development, upscale revenue generation and step up infrastructure development as well. Now, the Parliament's approval has been sought only for Rs 75,932 crore, including the provisions for ways and means advances of Rs 16,568 crore as well. The Union Territory's full budget will be, in fact, presented once the new government is elected after the conclusion of the 2024 general elections. Meanwhile, with us on the broadcast is my colleague Ajay Jandal. Ajay, uh, over to you. Uh, big news coming in at this point. Interim budget for JNK, uh, where 1.18 lakh crore has been allocated. What can you tell our viewers? See, uh, in this budget, this shows basically the future plans of the government for the Jammu and Kashmir, and that's why you know, in every sector, they have allocated the funds and. Uh, enough money has been allocated for uh, these uh, you know sectors whether it is a uh, you know uh, uh, development whether it is a you know uh, other sectors like uh, developments of road constructions and electricity as well so the enough budget is being sanctioned and this is for the first time that uh, this much amount is being uh, so you know allocated for the German Kashmir budget so and uh, after two three months when this final budget full budget will be uh, you know table there in the parliament uh, uh, that is going to definitely change the picture of the German Kashmir uh, for uh, this year. Indeed, Ajay, I'd like to thank you. But also with us on the broadcast is Dr. Sharath Kohli, Senior Economist. Good afternoon, sir, and thank you for joining us on uh, News X. Uh, big news, as uh, my colleague was telling us, uh, rupees 1.18 lakh crore uh, has been allocated in the interim budget for Jammu and uh, Kashmir. Uh, of course, uh, they envisage a 7.5% growth rate in the uh, Union Territory's uh, gross domestic production. Meanwhile, revenue receipts stand at uh, 97,861 crore rupees. Um, what do you make of this announcement and do you think it will in fact give a push uh, to uh, the Vikas, uh, you know, sort of uh, key development initiatives that are in fact underway in the state and uh, union territory at the moment? Uh, good afternoon and good afternoon to the NewsX viewers. Uh, well, ever since uh, the abrogation of Article 370, I think uh, Jammu and Kashmir has not looked back. And uh, we are persistently seeing uh, newer initiatives being uh, undertaken. In fact, uh, not only has the, the terrorist-related activities and all the nuisance which was there in JNK uh, has come down, but the state, uh, the, the Union Territory is seeing excellent uh, growth and uh, a very noticeable area is tourism. When we see uh, people, you know, thronging the, uh, the territory for, uh, for uh, seeing the snow, for uh, exploring various areas of JNK, which they have been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And I think uh, the budget allocations are very clear. The budget allocations are for agriculture. The budget allocations are for promoting the artisans. The budget allocation is for uh, uh, promotion of tourism, you know, uh, bringing those remote villages to the mainstream. So practically a very balanced budget. I was looking at the numbers uh, intricately, you know, very, very balanced and very uh, properly al allocated funds, I would say, for each sector. And I think it's not, uh, the day is not far when JNK is going to see probably after the, uh, you know, the general elections, we might see elections in JNK where JNK will come to the mainstream. And it's, I think Pakistan as a, as a country should learn a lesson, you know, it's neighboring country and it has illegally occupied that POK portion. 
So I, I think the three three billion dollar bailout which IMF gave to uh, uh, to to Pakistan stands uh, overshadowed by the uh, you know this number three billion dollar is barely twenty five thousand crores vis a vis one lakh eighteen thousand crore budget of um, of uh, uh, JNK. I think uh, they, they they don't stand any comparison. So I think Pakistan can take a, a piece of uh, a lesson here that how to grow uh, a region, you know, in a balanced way. If you take your mind off terrorism, if you take or take your mind off breeding terrorism, shall I say, you can grow and there are no limits to it. So I think a big lesson for Pakistan and very encouraging as far as India is concerned. This is what this was the objective of abrogation of Article 370 that JNK should come forward to the mainstream. So the moment JNK starts coming to the mainstream, I think. I think this was obvious to happen. So very good news for uh, people of JNK, good news for government of India, and good news overall for the countrymen as such that uh, uh, this area, which is which is heaven on earth, is coming down to the mainstream pier. All right, sir. With that, I would like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.